Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. We're about to head into Target over in Vauxhall, New Jersey, you guys. I'm going to share some pictures with you all of prices and what the stock is looking like. Um, let me know if any of these prices of everything that I show you guys today is the same in your area. I'm reporting out of New Jersey, you guys. So this is Shauna, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments with us. So let's head into Target and see what it's looking like. So first we stopped by the garden area. And the garden section overall looked very picked over. So this is a, a hint, hint, that a lot more people are actually planting, which technically is a good thing. Now when it comes down to water at Target, $7.39 for a case of 32 Poland Spring water. To me, that's pricing out of my price range. Um, that's totally expensive. You can get a 40 pack of the great value water for now it's five dollars and change at bj's the water actually jumped down to 3.99 here in new jersey but seven dollars and 39 cent is absolutely insane remember guys i'm telling you prices from new jersey it might be higher elsewhere like let's say california guys but these are the prices in new jersey and i did notice during this walkthrough they did have a nice amount of olive oil though it does look scattered honestly for target that is actually a nice amount the gallon of good and gather vegetable oil here is pricing out at nine dollars and seventy nine cents you guys i believe walmart is the cheapest place to get the gallon of oil now um because this one here is touching almost ten dollars for the store brand so they actually did have plenty of flour on the shelves, which is a good thing. Their Good and Gather five pound bags of flour is coming in at $2.39, while their sugar is already touching $2.99. So y'all know once y'all go ahead and sw um, you know, swipe that item, swipe your card, you're going to be paying over $3 for that one bag of sugar. Now to me, that's quite ridiculous. But sugar has gone up in price if you guys did not notice. And, you know, you're wondering why your grocery bill is getting higher and higher. And sugar is, you know, one of them items that you pick up during your weekly or monthly shopping trip. Sugar did go up in price as well. They also did have plenty of oil. But then when I looked at that price, y'all see I zoomed in for you guys. The one gallon of Crisco pure vegetable oil is $14.99. Like I said, you scan it, swipe your card after taxes. You're going to be spending well over $15 for one gallon of vegetable oil. So things like lard, ghee, shortening, Crisco was very short on the shelves as well. Very scattered all over the place as you guys can see. Let us know if you pick up any of these items from your local Target. They were doing very good in this section here because every other store that I go into, the Idahoan instant potatoes are always, when I say always, is always scattered on the shelves, very picked over, not a lot to choose from, and the price be ridiculous. But here they was very full in that section, so not much to basically say about that. But it is a dollar and forty nine cents for the Aya Homeland potatoes here at Target. Just also do not forget to use the app because when you go through the app, most of the time there is some type of percentage off through the circle. It's like circle offers. So Target Circle offers. And you just let's say you want to add this, it will be loaded on when you put your number in at the register before check before you check out. And you can get a certain percentage off of certain items. So check through the app. If you don't want to go through all the deals and you want to just pick up certain items um, at Target, if you're going in person, definitely, guys, download the app, scan them items. Because sometimes you can have a percentage off that you don't even know about and you can be saving money. So definitely download that app, guys, and definitely save some money because you just never know. Um, so I highly recommend downloading that app, y'all. So for the next item, yes, the price of rice, you guys. So for a one pound bag of jasmine rice, though it's organic, they wanted six nineteen, six dollars and nineteen cents for one pound of rice, and then seven thirty nine for the basmati rice, though it's organic, but it's only one pound. So the price of rice. 
did go up due to the rice shortage. So if you guys did not know, now you know the global rice shortage is set to be the biggest shortage in 20 years. So I'm pretty much sure your favorite kind of rice did go up in price. Um, but they did have regular like long grain rice here for about close to five dollars. They did have, like I said, if you want the regular rice, not that good old jasmine rice, and that organic rice, it would be a little bit cheaper. So the cheapest rice that I'm seeing here is the one pound bag of the Good and Gather for 89 cents. And the five pound bag coming in at $4.39. So just like Walmart, when it comes down to the pasta, the pasta, they go up in price. They used to be actually, I believe, 89 cents while Walmart was 88 cents. So they're now 99 cents all the way up to $1.19 for their good and gather pasta now. They were pretty stocked as far as pasta sauce, which is new to see because the pasta sauce is always spread it out all over the shelves. But it was a good thing to see that they did have some pasta sauce and pasta. And if you're new to stockpiling, if you do not have canned meat in your stockpile, that is something to definitely add to your stockpile so definitely shop around and look for the best deals because canned items in general did go up especially the canned meat people actually find it cheaper to buy the meat themselves especially people who can because you do get more for your buck because canned meat actually went up and when you're thinking about it you're only paying, getting a certain amount of ounces in this one can for $1.99 when you will be paying that per pound already, um, you know, if you're buying a pack of meat and you're canning it. And if you actually get a good sale somewhere in one of your stores, you'll be paying way under $1.99 for certain meats. So it'll make more sense to can meat if, only if, you are a canner. Little packs of tuna fish like this as well is something great to add to the stockpile. A dollar fifty nine for some starfish, y'all, mm. and then two ninety nine for the family pack. So, pick and choose your poison basically when it comes down to these prices. But one thing about the starfish packs, they do have fifteen grams of protein. So if you're looking to stockpile some things high in protein, um, the canned meat is a great option. You know, the packets of tuna fish, packets of chicken and stuff like that. Those are great options. Though there is plenty of more options, but that is just a few of them. Other than that, the French fries, as far as the Good & Gather brand, they hardly had any left. It was $7.39 for a value pack of 44 fish sticks. And as far as the eggs went, well, you guys can see they hardly had any eggs. But the eggs that they did have available, with one of them being the pasta raised eggs, coming in at $6.99 for one dozen of eggs, you guys. And then $5.99 just for the regular organic brand. The stock of butter was actually pretty much okay. They did have the Lando Lakes um, four pack of the butter sticks there for $4.49. Um, as far as the dairy section, as the milk and coffee creamer, also very scattered. And the produce section was actually well stocked. As you can see, the worker there, go ahead and stocking up that produce, you guys. Um, Eggos, hardly any. They did have some baby back pork ribs here. They also have some of the Johnsonville sausages and the impossible meat all there in that one section. So their sale advertised the baby back pork ribs coming in at $3.99 a pound. The Johnsonville sausages coming in at $5.59. And the Impossible Burger, which is um, plant-based, you guys, coming in at $4.19. So they did have plenty of everything that they did advertise, which is also great. But I did notice in one section of the Jimmy Dean sausages had so much freezer burn. So they must have had this just stored in a freezer. I personally would not purchase that, but they did have it available. But then they also had some chicken available. But when it comes down to their red meat, the red meat is scattered. Not so much, but they did have things such as like ground beef. Same thing. They had an overstock of that Johnsonville. So they did put some over in the other freezer section. They also had beef steaks available, which is great. They also had the two pack of the sirloin steak available as well. 
Items such as the pre-cooked ravioli, macaroni and cheese, and a pre-cooked mashed potatoes also was falling short in supply. Um, but overall, I think this walkthrough was pretty okay. They was well stocked on a few items um, over in the hardware section, which I went to go over there to pick up something. I noticed that they was falling short in a lot of things over there as well. But this was our walkthrough. Guys, once again, they hardly had any cashiers open. Everyone had to basically go to self-checkout if they didn't want to wait in line. But one thing I can say, the lines were clear. It was hardly anybody here this particular day. So that was amazing. My shopping experience was great. Um... So yeah, that was my Target walkthrough over in Vauxhall, New Jersey. You guys, I am reporting out of New Jersey for those of you who are still wondering. And if you are coming back and you have not subscribed or it just missed you on the way out, you guys, subscribe button is right there. So if you want to become part of our community, that's all you have to do. Um, Thank you all so much for tuning in and coming along with me during today's, I can't even say walkthrough because all we did was take pictures, right? But hey, it was still a shopping experience, right? <laughs> so you all, thank you, thank you so much. We have reached 1 million views over here on Moments with us. And you all are amazing. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have reached the 1 million views. So thank you all who continue to come back and watch every single video. You all are amazing. Like I said, if you are new here, all you have to do is press the subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so you will not miss an upload so this is shauna and i'm officially checking out from moments with us make sure that you all stay prepped stay blessed and stay safe most of all remain beautiful queens and kings until next video i'm officially out of here peace